Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. Today we are going to discuss chemical reactions and equations. The topic is covered under the following heads. We know that matter undergoes transformations and these transformations which are associated with change in molecular composition are called chemical changes. These chemical changes result in the formation of a new substance. So these chemical changes are called chemical reactions. Chemical reactions are the processes in which new substances with new properties are formed. Chemical reactions involve breaking of old chemical bonds which exist between the atoms of reacting substances and then making of new chemical bonds between the rearranged atoms of new substances. Only a rearrangement of atoms takes place in a chemical reaction. Now let us take an example of chemical reaction. In this chemical reaction, magnesium is reacting with oxygen of air. So we can write the chemical reaction as magnesium It is in the form of ribbon. When it comes in contact with oxygen from air, magnesium oxide is formed. So Magnesium and oxygen are reacting and producing magnesium oxides. So the substances which takes part in a chemical reaction are called reactants. So in this reaction magnesium and oxygen are reactants. So and the new substance which is formed is called product. So in this reaction magnesium oxide is the product. In a chemical reaction reactants are transformed into products and the products thus form have properties which are entirely different from those of the reactants. So in this reaction there are two reactants magnesium and ox oxygen and they are producing one product which is magnesium oxide. Now chemical reactions in daily life. Chemical reactions are not limited to a science laboratory. They occur in our daily life too. Examples are rusting of iron on exposure to moist air, burning of fuels like wood, coal, kerosene, petrol, LPG, curdling of milk when left at room temperature during summer, ripening of fruits, cooking of food, digestion of food in our stomach and bursting of a cracker. So these are the examples of chemical reactions in daily life. But now the next question which comes in our mind is that how do we know that a chemical reaction has taken place? This doubt will become clear from the discussion on the characteristics of a chemical reactions. We know that in a chemical reactions reactants are converted into products and this conversion of reactants into products is often accompanied by some features which can be observed easily and this easily observable changes which takes place as a result of chemical reactions are known as characteristics of chemical reactions. So the important characteristics of chemical reactions are change in color, evolution of gas, change in temperature and change in state. So these general characteristics will tell us whether a chemical reaction has taken place or not. Now let us discuss about chemical equations. A chemical reaction is represented by a chemical equations. 
and chemical equations can generally be written in the form of a word equation or equations involving formulae of reactants and products. But we generally prefer writing the chemical formulae of reactants and products because it is simple and more concise. So let us discuss about chemical equation. Chemical equation is a method of representing a chemical reaction with the help of symbols and formulae of substances involved in it. So it's known as chemical equations and there are certain rules for writing a chemical equations. So the rules will become more clear with the help of an example. Suppose there are two reactants R1 and R2. They are two reactants and they are producing two products. Let us take for an example P1 and P2 are the products P1 and P2. So the rule says that we have to write the names of the reactants and product uh, we have to write the names of the reactants on the left hand side with plus sign between them. So this is the left hand side and we have to write the name of the reactants on the left hand side. The second rule says that we have to write the name of the products on the right hand side. This is the right hand side right hand side and this is the products. These are two products P1 and P2. And put the third rule says put an arrow between the reactants and products. So we have to put an arrow here like this and the direction of the arrow here should point towards the products. So this is the basic rule of writing a chemical equation. Suppose if we have to write a word equation and in this word equation we have magnesium is reacting magnesium is reacting with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. So we have to write a word equation. So word equation will be like this. Magnesium is reacting with oxygen. So magnesium and oxygen are the two reactants. We can write word equation like this. Magnesium is reacting with oxygen oxygen and they are producing magnesium oxide. So the product is magnesium oxide. So magnesium and oxygen are the two reactants and they are producing magnesium oxide as the product. We can convert this word equation into a chemical equation. Actually this is also a chemical equation but we can convert it into a chemical equation involving symbols of reactants and products. Magnesium. What is the chemical formula of magnesium? Mg. And oxygen. What is the chemical formula of oxygen? It is it is O2 and they both are reacting to produce magnesium oxide. So this is the chemical equation involving 
formulae of magnesium and oxygen. Let us take an another example. In this uh, example, zinc metal, zinc metal is reacting with reacts with dilute sul sulfuric acid. It reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. So we can write the word equation as zinc metal zinc reacting with sulfuric acid it is reacting with sulfuric acid so we have to put a plus sign and then write sulfuric acid and producing zinc sulfate zinc sulfate is the product along with hydrogen gas hydrogen gas so this is the word equation we can change this word equation into a chemical equation by writing the symbols and formulae of the various substances in place of their names so the symbol of zinc is Zn symbol of sulfuric acid is H2SO4 symbol of zinc sulfate is Zn SO4 and symbol of hydrogen is H2 so putting the symbols and formulae of all the substances we obtain zinc Zn plus sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 they are producing zinc sulfate Zn SO4 plus hydrogen so in this reaction zinc and H2SO4 are reactants and they are producing zinc sulfate and hydrogen they are products of the reaction so we have seen that by using a chemical formula instead of words makes a chemical equation more concise simple and useful